do a little tutorial on how to make kombucha tea. There's lots of different benefits of kombucha, you can Google those, um, but it's just a quick overview on how to do this. So what I do is, first thing is um, I take five black tea bags and then two black tea bags to make one gallon of kombucha. So I just use regular stuff, I buy it at Safeway or Bonds. That's green tea, and then that's the black tea, just your generic tea, okay? And then over here, um, so five black and two green. Turn the stove on, add some water. Now on this here, I add probably a quart or so, a quart and a half. <clears throat> Are you still recording, Lexi? Yeah. Well, get the... Look over here. Okay. Okay, so I turn this on high. And as soon as this gets boiling, then I let it steep. Uh, steep. Let, uh, it's almost as if it's boiling. I turn it off and, and I let it um, just simmer for a good uh, five to ten minutes. Okay? Okay, go to bed. What I do is I take a gallon of water and I put it into one of these gallon jars. And this is a, uh, an old pickle jar. Looks great for my kombucha. So I dump all the water in there. And then what I do is uh, once I get, um, I use this jar to put the kombucha in, store it, and then I put it in the fridge. Okay, so then put the water in there. I get some uh, sugar, and this is just plain cane sugar. You can use any sugar you want. You don't have to spend. It doesn't have to be organic. It can just be white sugar. Um, that's generally what I make it out of. So I fill this up to about a cup. That's a cup right there. And then I add it in. Like that. And I take this right here. I stir it around. Okay. Um, this is um, where I um, make the kombucha. This is just a, a, a ceramic filter. I bought it off eBay or Amazon or something for, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 bucks, something I could get. Um, so then what I do is I drain it. And this is about, uh, I believe it's about a gallon and a half. So then I'm just going to fill that, that jar up. And normally what I do is I do what's called a continuous brew. And and that's generally what it looks like on top. You got the kombucha baby, the scoby, and then the mama underneath that. And we're just gonna wait till this fills all the way up. And then when it does, I'm gonna switch jars. 